Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. All right, we are going to pull the energy of the person on your mind. We're going to see how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they're saying about you, what's going on in their energy here in regards to you. First thing we have coming out is finances and career. All right, so let's see what else is going on here with you, um, Aries. Let's see. Finances and career. All right. Let's see. They could see you being more focused on your finances and career. Maybe not even caring too much about trying to mend whatever this situation is. Let's see. All right, Aries. Then you have... It is safe for you to love and you have pay attention to the red flags. Okay, finances and career. It is safe for you to love and pay attention to the red flags. All right, so you know what? We're just going to jump right into this here. I didn't even read the messages. Okay, messages. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, so this person may be feeling some, this, this person, their money may be a little funny. Their money may be a little funny right now. And with this, it is safe for you to love. That's the thing that's throwing me a little bit off. Let me see. Two of Pentacles. The Devil, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. All right, so, yeah. This person, okay, this person may have been very much so all about the money all about the coin all about the opportunities all about the jobs all about the career everything and it's just like they were so connected to their work that they were willing to like cut out and be stern like to anybody who seemed to get in the way of that okay and I feel like maybe that's why it is safe for you to love. Because I feel like this person was just very much so all about their work. Or all about something. Finances and career. There was something that they were dealing with. Aries. This could also be a bad habit too. Like bad spending habits as well. Okay. This person was juggling maybe two different lives here. And there were some things that they weren't really cutting out. They were cutting out the wrong things. Instead of cutting out whatever this devil card is here. Take it as it resonates. It's either this person was either a workaholic or this person either had bad spending habits. Let's see. Six of Cups. Okay, so yeah, I think this person had bad spending habits, yep. Oh, yeah, this person has some bad spending habits. This person wasn't really 100% mature. This person wasn't straightforward. This person was just going along, doing what it was that they wanted to do, okay? It was some things that they were holding on to from the past, and it was some things that they were dealing with that was making them have some very toxic energy, okay? And instead of them being straightforward and... um. Instead of them being straightforward, it was like they're with this Queen of Swords energy here. It was like they just went ahead. They just did what it is that they wanted to do. They didn't cut out the things that they were supposed to cut out. It was just like, especially with this Fool card here. It's like they just went on their own, doing what they got to do, la di da di da just, you know. But knowing there were some things here that they were holding on to mentally, physically, emotionally that they were dealing with. 
some things from the past something from the past like especially with the six of cups here it's like i feel like whatever it was um aries this situation it this person needs some some help here yeah Hmm. all right so i feel like for some of you this person was dealing with a couple things that they needed to get through all right and i feel like they want a new start with you it's just a lot of things that they're dealing with it's just a load like a heavy load that they're dealing with and they constantly think about you i feel like they're like thinking about this, like meditating on this relationship here. They're trying to be more straightforward as far as how they talk to you with this King of Swords here. They're trying to just be like, they're trying to come in as somebody who is clear with you. And I feel like they're trying to change themselves around for you. Like they're trying to really make some communication here. Some people can be traveling to you all right and trying to really communicate with you because i feel like they're trying to get themselves together to make things work for you they're trying to be more financially independent they're trying to be somebody who you know that you can count on who's reliable somebody who loves you somebody who takes care of what they have to take care of and they had to like take a break like something caused them to sit down like something made them have to really like sit down and think about all of this and it happened kind of fast, whatever this was. Like, it set them down kind of fast here. Okay. For some people, I'm feeling like whatever this toxic trait was, it was something that was, um, it was something that was tearing apart their connections. Something was tearing apart their connections with people. And they had to make a, like, a swift change. They had to do it, like, quickly because either they felt like they were running out of time here. Let me see. If you hear any noise in the background, Aries, please forgive me. I got my window open and I do kind of live in a loud neighborhood. All right, so yeah, you had the, that person had a tower moment, all right? And it really made them sit down and really think about their, think about their life. Okay, something happened and it made them really have to sit down and think about their life and get their self together. Because um, the Ace of Swords is here. So it was like, oh shoot. <laughs> I have to, um, I got to change this really quick. It's like their whole mentality had to change. Their whole mentality had to change in order for them to get themselves together. In order for them to feel like accomplished or to feel satisfied or to feel good about themselves, like something had to change. And this tower moment was necessary because without this tower moment, they would have never had to. For some people, I feel like they went to jail. <laughs> I feel like somebody maybe went to jail. It's not funny, but it's like, I feel like somebody went to jail or somebody might have been in the hospital or somebody like something happened. Something happened and it really made this person like reflect on, okay, what am I doing with myself? What am I doing with my life? What am I, where am I putting my energy? Where am I putting, why am I putting my money into this? Like I didn't spend so much money on X, Y, and Z, or I didn't spend too much time on X, Y, and Z trying to get these things together. And it's like, now I feel like their perspective has changed in regards to life. Which is ultimately making their perspective change in regards to you. And I feel like that's why I'm saying it is safe for you to love. Because I feel like if this is them saying, like, I'm okay now. Like, I'm good now. Like, we, we can work this out. Like, we can try again. I'm, I swear I'm doing better. I'm really getting myself together here. Like, I feel like this Nine of Cups is them trying to show you the things that they've accomplished. Like, look, I've... I went to school, I'm going back to school, or I just got this new job, or, you know, I just got this, you know, they're trying to impress you in a way to get your, to get your, um, to get your attention again. They're trying to impress you to get your attention again. 
they got the emperor in the reverse okay so whatever this is the four of cups is here the three of pentacles and the five of swords they got the emperor in the reverse here so i feel like they they're trying to build themselves they're having a hard time like building themselves back up to where it used to be for some reason and i feel like they're working on whatever this is i feel like for some people i really feel like this is a mental battle with an addiction or something okay some people are having some some issues here with something going on within their past addictions issues something and i feel like they're trying really hard to get themselves together it's like the four of cups is here and i feel like this is like um them trying to break away from whatever this addiction is like whatever this thing is it's like they're trying to not pay attention to it okay but at the same time it is still kind of lingering in their energy or they can be like i feel like this is them like thinking about like dang i really spent a lot of time like doing all of this stuff here but for some reason it's still lingering in their energy but when it does come back when they do get tempted by it they're like holding their ground here they're trying to hold their ground the three of pentacles i feel like for some people like i said this can be somebody went to jail and now they're dealing with um um, maybe they have to go to like um, counseling or something like that in regards to whatever they went to jail for or somebody had an addiction and now they're going through like AA or they're going through something that is supposedly trying to, it's, it's helping them. It's trying to help them, but it is a struggle here. It is a struggle with them mentally. It's like they're still, but they're trying to um show you that they're doing better i feel like they're trying to get themselves together for you aries take it as it resonates but i do feel like um this person still has a lot of work that they have to do on themselves they have a lot of work that they have to do on themselves before they can be that full person um that they're trying to be for you because they got the emperor in the reverse so it's like they're still working on themselves. They're still trying to build themselves up. So before they can start to try to do anything with you, they need to continue working on whatever this matter is that they're dealing with. Yeah. Yeah, they are trying to do whatever they can do to get this happy life with you. It's like maybe you guys were married or were together at one point and something happened which caused this person to go in a downward spiral okay and it's like now they're trying to get their energy and their strength together to work on something and they're trying to just move forward with you they're trying to like come back into your energy like they're just coming in but it's like at the end of the day you can't ignore the things that you have to work on with the two of swords here it's like i feel like one little expl one little argument Aries, just hear me out. Like if you guys get into an argument and something is said and thrown their way in regards to whatever this is that they're dealing with, it's going to cause a very serious problem. Okay? It's going to cause a very serious problem with this two of swords here. This person is going to get upset. I feel like this person may have anger issues as well for some of you. For some people who you're, you know, this person in your energy this person may it's it's just yeah they're trying to get a new perspective here they're trying to change the way you see them they're trying to you know maybe looking at other people who you be around and being like how can i be like this person how can i you know how can i be this way how can i be that way but at the end of the day the seven of swords is here so they're not fully committed to um they're not they're not there yet I feel like they're committed to the journey, okay? But they're not there yet. So take your time with this person. If you plan on still working with this person, take your time with them. Let things play out the way that they're supposed to play out, okay? Because there are some things here that they still need to work on, okay, Aries? Um, all right, so I'm just going to leave that here, all right? And we are going to end this video.
So I hope that it resonated. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.